Um, I started uh, in 2004 uh, with a boy named Joseph, and he could not skip. And I had no idea. His parents didn't tell me that he had he was on the spectrum or anything. So uh, I truly saw him, and still to this day, see all these kids for their capabilities and not their disabilities. And I taught Joseph to skip, and again, that was in 2004, and now going, I think this is on my ninth year, uh, I am invested in this community. Um, your children, adults, teach me every day. They challenge me to be at my best. Um, so I thank you for that, so I hope that I could uh, share some of what I've seen success in with a lot of individuals from young um, to now I'm working with some individuals who are in their 50s um, and how exercise is so powerful um, for them. Um, I was a paraprofessional. Uh, I've changed diapers on kids from three and a half all the way to 17, just so you get a little bit more of my background um, as well. So I've, I've seen it, I've seen a lot, I haven't seen it all, um, but there's a little bit more of, of, of what I've done. I've worked at a school for children with autism and, and been in all the therapies and seen music, speech, OT, everything. And I've learned from every professional as well. And we are gonna to continue to learn, everyone here, everyone out there, um, of how to help our children and adults. Um, exercise is so vital for not only our children, our, our adults, but also for us as parents, or I should say you as parents, I'm not a parent, um, but it's, it's vital. Um, there's not a lot of research, but there is research out there for children and adults with autism. It calms behaviors, increases attention span, it can reduce stress and anxiety and improve sleep, okay? And the list goes on and on. I can t tell you about this all day. But again, remember, it's, while there's not that much research there on specifically children with autism, look at the child or the adult first and the autism second. We know exercise is important and we should all be doing it. And as parents, um, some of you don't know where to get started or how to encourage our kids. We keep talking about you know, educating them or letting them be free or, or do it. Maybe it is an individual in the community that can motivate your child to exercise, or maybe it's you, okay? We often wanna talk the talk, but we need to be able to walk the walk and, and show your child that why exercise is important. Um, and, and with some of the dads and parents and homes I go into, I'm showing mom and dad exactly what we're doing. So maybe one day when mom's had a stressful day, she can go down to the basement, do something on her own in hopes that maybe Rachel or Bill will follow mom or dad along and do that exercise with them. So I'm a big, big proponent of, as parents, we gotta, we gotta kind of lead them to this physically active lifestyle. Sometimes, yes, they don't wanna hear it, um, but then you may have to go reach out to, maybe it's a neighbor next door. That's really how I got started, is it was a dad who I was training and he said, can you work with my son? That was Joseph and now, nine years later, this is thankfully my career. Um, you, uh, you can do it at any age, okay? Um, Bill, he is 27 years old. Um, I started seeing him two years ago. His ma said he, he was big, he would play softball um, every Sunday, and he was a catcher, but he couldn't, and he played in a, a neurotypical league um, with, I think, his cousins and whatnot, but he couldn't catch a ball. And, and I mean, he's a catcher, he's, that's what he's gotta do. So I'm like, okay, and I never worked on this specifically with him. Broke the steps down, worked on it, and I kid you not, and you guys will be able to see this soon, um, I'm gonna have a show, it's called the, the Coach Dave Show on the Autism Channel. Um, Bill can now catch two balls at the same time while kneeling on a stability ball, completely independently. It's absolutely amazing, I get goosebumps every time I say it. I um, mean, uh, like I said, it, it, we filmed last uh, week again with him doing it, it's awesome. So, you can do it. Uh, Adults, students out there, you guys can do this. Sometimes you don't like to do it, but I promise you, it will make you feel so much better and it can just restore so much confidence in your children or in your adults or maybe the adults you're working with. Um, and the accident happened where, when I started working with Bill and Rachel and all these kids, um, 
where I started wanting to develop and reach out more to, to the community and how can I educate more? How can we get our kids or educate our parents that our kids need to exercise? So what I did is then start to develop this visual exercise system. And <clears throat> basically it's visuals to help our child, children communicate, which we all know is important. Um, but the stuff out there isn't exercise specific or broken down to make it successful for our kids or adults. So as, as I started cutting, laminating, doing all this stuff, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. The, uh, I can have Bill, I can have Rachel, I can have um, uh, Anthony, and all these kids do this. So that kind of led me now to what's called the Champions Program. And I have right now three champions working for me, Derek, who's 27. Um, I have Rachel and Bill, who are now on the Coach Dave show, and the show's, why well, maybe titled <laughs> the Coach Dave show, it's not about me, because when you see these two lead and teach um, completely independently, nothing is scripted, it's absolutely amazing. And they are now, can not only transition to on-screen leading, but now transition to doing some tasks to uh, getting a meaningful job. And they're, and they're going to get a paycheck. There's a lot of programs out there that don't pay them or don't incentivize them, and it kills me. So I found a business model to say, yeah, they're going to get paid. They need to get paid. Um, we all want to get paid in our jobs, and same for our kids. They should not, um, in my opinion, we shouldn't have to pay all this money for our kids on the spectrum to get a job, and there's no reward. Um, sorry, I just... I've seen it, and I've seen parents been taken advantage of, and it kills me. So my kids, my champions are getting paid. Um, the again with job opportunities, some of you parents or maybe your professionals of the audience, look at those tasks that you're doing um, for your job, and you may be able to create now a meaningful job for an individual with autism. It's not just about awareness; it's really about education. Um, you. You have to educate um, yourselves and say, hey, this is something that I can give to you know, an individual with Asperger's. I, I understand the labels, and I'm not about the labels as well, but I am. Um, I think it's important, in, in my opinion, to go ahead and tell a job, hey, he does have a, a, a need, a special need, and, and you've got to communicate that because if that boss doesn't know it, then the person below him doesn't know it, and then it's all, and then you're in back in that rut, back in that circle of how can I find him a job? I, I, I think communicating his needs um, are very important, and absolutely, it's, it's not a disability. They're fully capable of doing, but we have to provide um, the structure, the visuals, and, and, and meet his needs, and you need to communicate as parents, whether it's to me or to an, a future employer, tell him what he needs. So, um, uh, and, and I think one thing I was saying too is you could, again, some people here can provide a job. So look at that stuff around your office um, and things, and, and that could be so impactful, because when you see these kids do what they can do, um, be challenged. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And as parents, I, I know you know that. Um, and again, with, this, with these champions, what, what, what I would see even at one of the schools that I used to teach with um, was that, you know, sometimes they would shred paper. And great. I mean, I guess some kids maybe stimmed off it, maybe they liked it, but I thought they were fully more capable than shredding paper. And that's kind of the model that I use uh, today with anyone that's coming to work for me who's neurotypical, explaining what we're doing. Um, we're not shredding paper. My champions are not shredding paper at the Exercise Connection. They're shredding expectations. So um, if you want to talk to me after, that'd be great. If not, no big deal. Um, I do have books. I have DVD on the website. And uh, I will be presenting more on exercise and how I, and also how I broke down jobs at a conference uh, with Brian King will be there as well um, in LaGrange, uh, St. Patty's Day. So come out and you can go out to St. Patty's Day stuff later, okay? Thank you.